Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from Forever Conscious and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of April 7th. So a few days ago we had the new moon in the sign of Aries. This is one of the most potent, uh, powerful new moons we have all year for new beginnings, for setting intentions. And perhaps you're feeling or perhaps the new moon has kind of stirred within you this sense of kind of needing to check in with where you are. Um, maybe wondering if you're on the right track or if you're doing everything you can to fulfill your purpose or to live your best life. Maybe you're questioning things that need to change or old habits or attitudes or maybe even relationships that need to pivot or shift or be let go of. So this is what the new moon has kind of been stirring for me. I've kind of seen this with other people too and, and perhaps you're feeling the same thing. It's sort of making us question things, making us think about where we're heading for this year. You know, are we on the right track? And, and when I say right track, I always believe that we're right where we need to be, but sometimes we get these pings or these feelings or these questionings, this questioning that allows us to dig a little deeper and work out if we need to make a shift to bring more richness, to bring more wholeness, to bring more fulfillment into our lives. And this energy is actually going to be continuing because this week on April 10th, we have Jupiter going retrograde. Now, Jupiter retrograde is very different to like a Mercury retrograde, um, it's also different to when we have planets like Mars or Venus going retrograde. When Jupiter goes retrograde, the energy is a little bit different. We feel a sense of needing to kind of go back and look over things, which is similar to most retrogrades. But with Jupiter, we're actually getting an opportunity to go back and collect gifts or lessons or bounties that perhaps we weren't open to receiving the first time around, or perhaps things that we weren't able to realize the first time around. Jupiter Retrograde gives us a chance to go back over things and to collect rewards, gifts, and lessons from the universe that we needed to become aware of. So it is generally something that we consider in astrology a positive time, a positive time to uh, go back over things and see the silver lining, see the progress, uh, receive more of the gifts and rewards of your hard efforts and hard work. This is really a time where we're getting a second chance to receive the gifts that the universe is trying to send our way. So it really is a nice, beautiful energy that will be working in harmony with all of us. The other thing that Jupiter retrograde is going to touch on or work with is where we might be feeling a little sluggish or where we're lacking motivation or energy or where we're feeling a little bit um, stagnant. So if you have an area like this in your life, this is what Jupiter Retrograde is going to be uh, touching on for you. Jupiter Retrograde is going to help you to shift that energy, to move out of stagnancy, to help you balance your energy levels and to think about ways to bring more motivation and purpose and fulfillment into your life. Now, there is a action that's required on your part, but if you're open to it and you want to make a change, you're feeling a little bit sluggish or even a little bit lazy. Maybe you felt like you've become lazy and usually that happens when, you know, you lose motivation or you lose a feeling of purposefulness in your life. And so Jupiter, if you're open to it, will be helping you to shift past that and if you want some more guidance and more support with that, check out my article on foreverconscious.com. I have a little exercise that you can do to kind of help get that energy activated and to get that feeling of um, purpose, purposefulness, it's a hard word to say, <laughs> flowing in your life again and you know, bringing more joy, bringing more things into your life that will make you feel motivated and inspired, you know. Um, life can sometimes wear us down, we can lack energy, we can lose our motivation. That's all part of it, but this is an opportunity if you've been feeling that way and you're sick of feeling that way, this is an opportunity for you to raise up that energy. 
and I will remind you my uh, meditation for the month of April will also help with that. It's really designed to get that energy flowing up through your chakras, through your energy center and out to help you feel um, energized, creative, inspired. Uh, and it's kind of interesting because that new moon energy is helping with that too. So that is the energy for the week. It is a week of motivation, getting inspired, starting something new, really, you know, listening to the calls of the universe when it comes to going after things that will bring you fulfillment and joy. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a great week. I am Tanaz from Forever Conscious. Thank you so much.